Interest continues to grow in computer programming. Today we have the founder of CanCode, Noah Rumid, and Michael Koner with Philanthropy Think Tank. Welcome. First off, Noah, tell us about CanCode. So I started CanCode as a way to spread my passion for computer programming uh, about four years ago. And the way that we do that is through teaching computer programming workshops for free to underprivileged kids in underserved communities after school. But you started because somebody believed in your idea and you won $15,000 mm -hmm. because of that, all thanks to Philanthropy Tank. Yes. And tell us about that. So we, this is our fifth year in Philanthropy Tank and we basically, I uh, was one of the co-founders and we are basically empower our youth today to come up with a enterprising idea to better our community. And then we m mentor them um, along with giving them the funding after we coach them to be able to do a final presentation in front of a live audience at the Kravis Center. Yeah, specific to Noah's project, what made you believe in it? Um, at first, we weren't sure whether or not he would be able to scale it to a point of he had high aspirations. Um, he was very persistent in his, uh, he applied a second year. And with that, um, we kind of helped him change his application a little bit. And So he was persistent? He yeah. was persistent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, what do uh, participants get out of the CAN Code program? So the elementary schoolers learn the fundamentals of every computer programming language. So they, they're not bored in class. They actually have a great time and they learn how to build their own video game through that process. And we also like have volunteer teenagers who learn how to teach their passion and how to volunteer in the community. And Philanthropy Tank has been a great way for us to have the funding to be able to expand. Um, and one of the things that we're looking to do now is go into more sites, um, in Boca Raton, Delray, and if you have a site where kids go after school and you would want us to come and teach, we would be, I would love to come and meet with you and see yeah. how we can collaborate. Looking for real estate, huh? Yeah. And uh, what do you uh, have to say about the experience in teaching elementary school children? I don't think that's something that <laughs> I can do, but uh, you're up for the challenge and succeeding in it, right? Yeah, at first it was a little bit hard, um, but I think as I got the hang of it, I was able to really focus on how I can make sure that the kids are having fun. And sometimes they forget that they're learning or that they're sitting in a workshop. And I try and teach that to my teachers so that they can have the same success that I have when yeah. I'm inspiring the students. Well, helping shape the future, and you guys are always looking for people who have that same kind of spark. How do people apply to the Yeah, if you go tank? on our website, philanthropytank.org, um, we are gonna have two more workshops in the month of September, but it's an online application process, and then you gotta create a short video to go along with the application process, and those will close out on October 4th, so you still have a little bit of time to apply, and we're accepting applications now. Yeah, so the future looks bright from what you've seen, huh? Yes, absolutely. I mean, to have amazing <laughs> young yeah. gentlemen like Noah, I mean, and, and watching him grow, and then he scaled this thing. I mean, he's also taught other children and other teenagers to help build out the platform, which was one of the things that's been amazing to us to just watch this program grow. And it's a heck of a curriculum and it's an amazing young gentleman right here.